For as long as I can remember, there has always been at least one movie in my life I was obsessed with. From my very first two theater visits seeing Toy Story and the special edition of The Empire Strikes Back, story goes I got so excited about it that I as a four year old wouldn't stop screaming and crying I was so excited and almost got myself, my brother, our cousins, and aunt all kicked out of the theater. From those two experiences grew an unending passion and fire for the art of filmmaking. Then, one magical day, I was introduced to the glory that was 1939's The Wizard of Oz. I had never seen a film in black and white before, and especially one that didn't change from black and white to color before either. The whimsical and charming world of Oz and its cast of characters exploded my brain and cracked the door of classic film open for me just a little bit. As a child, I loved history, more specifically knights and cowboys. This passion cracked the beautiful creaking mahogany door that is classic film even wider for me. As I became familiar with Old West film legends like John Wayne and Errol Flynn with his adventures against the evil King John. I watched March of the Wooden Soldiers. I even put one of those soldiers on my list for Santa at Christmas time and would even go to my grandparents' house to watch The Sound of Music and Duck Soup, opening that door bit by bit. The film, however, that really made me walk through that door confidently was It's a Wonderful Life. I am very lucky to have had those experiences watching some of the greatest classic films, let alone some of the greatest films of all time, at such a young age. When I was younger and would go to school and try to talk to other kids about these movies, they would give me strange looks or laugh at me for liking old movies or saying they were boring because they weren't in color or there wasn't enough action. I say that I'm very lucky because now there is a massive following of classic film today on social media and people want to finally talk about it and hot dog, I am ready. In addition to this coverage boom, those that were previously intimidated by classic film are now looking to crack that classic film door open as I once did in order to have a say in those conversations, which is why I'm launching my podcast, Cinemillennials. Cinemillennials is a podcast where myself and another millennial are introduced to a classic film for the very first time, ranging from the birth of cinema to the 1960s. Myself and my guest will open your eyes to the vast landscape of classic film as we discuss the film's performers, their performances, those behind the camera, and how they and their films still influence our world today. Please subscribe to the podcast here and wherever podcasts are consumed. Give it a five-star rating and leave a review if you enjoy the show. It helps more people find it. I really hope Cinemillennials opens you and others to the rich and rewarding world of classic film. Hooray for